VPS is way better than shared hosting, but it needs more tweaking, more setup, and a bit more steps to get it going. If you want to take the easy route, shared hosting is the way to go. But if you want more customization and more limits, a VPS is way better. Now, one of the big drawbacks of a VPS is that we have to pay for the actual VPS hosting. We have to pay for the VPS management and an email service. But on this video, I want to show you a lifetime deal for a VPS manager and email service. That means that you're going to have to pay once and just pay for the monthly subscription of the VPS. It's called Cloudstick. I'm going to show you how to launch the email service on Cloudstick. What's up, everyone? My name is George, and this is Cloudstick. The idea is to show you this lifetime deal that's going to give you the BPS manager and your email service that you're only going to have to pay once. So this is a lifetime deal, and it starts off at $39 for one BPS. And let me show you what you're going to get with that. So let me scroll down here with the plans that are available. And the $39 plan gets you one server, which is one BPS, five gigabytes of free backup, which is always welcome. Unlimited websites obviously do consider the limits that you have in your VPS for the unlimited websites and you get PHP install, SSL service, one click installation for WordPress, your email service, so professional emails, and this is provided by Roundcube, but it's already available on Cloudstick for an easy installation. If you need more websites, well, more VPS, you got the $78 plan, which is 10 VPS or the unlimited VPS. If you are someone who's going to create websites for clients, launch several VPS and this is the way to go. So it's super inexpensive for what you're going to get. All right. So as I mentioned before on this video, I'm going to show you how to do the email setup process for the VPS. And with that said, like I said, you only have to pay once for the service and you don't have to pay month to month like you would with other services. All right. Now, before I show you how to set it up, now let me show you the sponsor for this video, which is Hostinger. Let me show you the VPS plans that they have and how to apply an extra discount coupon code. So jump into the link in the description, go to hosting VPS hosting, and in BPS hosting, they have several plans available. So I do recommend that you select the one that is going to fit your needs for the amount of websites or the amount of resource that the websites are going to use. Right. So in this case, I'm going to select the KVM2 plan, which is $6.99 a month. And I'm going to show you how to apply an extra discount coupon code. Now, one of the first things that hosting is going to ask you is how many months do you want to pay in advance? I recommend 24 months. You lock in the lowest price, lowest renewal price, and you're good to go for 24 months. Now, this is the current price, but if you add my coupon code, which is SAS Master and apply it, the price is going to drop to $150 with 98 cents. Remember, that's for 24 months. Okay, so don't forget to use my coupon code. Okay, back to Cloudstick. As I mentioned before, I already installed a BPS here. Now you can install a BPS from different providers. In this case, I've used the Hostinger BPS. So let me jump into the BPS details for this one. And the first thing that you're going to need to do is install the host name. So go to host name and I do recommend that you have like they see here examples of good host name. So something that's friendly, that doesn't say it's like spam. That's not a sales site. For example, my web hosting, RR hosting, etc. Something that sounds nice for the email so they don't get sent to spam, right? So in this case, I've added this one, which is a subdomain from a domain that I use. This is just for testing purposes. And I add this host name here and I deploy the SSL. This is the first step, right? Next, we're going to jump into the websites. We're going to jump into the main domain. Be aware that this is not going to work with a subdomain. Now, be aware that if you're using the main domain on another VPS, another plan, etc., you don't have to actually use it here on Cloudstick, but do add it here so you can use the email service for this particular domain, right? So let's go jump into this domain. We're going to go into the email accounts. Now, once you jump into the email accounts, the first thing that's going to ask you here is to install Roundcube, and it's going to ask you to add the subdomain for this. In this case, let me jump into the email authentication, and the one I've created is mail.annielufer.com. So in my DNS records, and in this case, I'm using the DNS from Cloudflare. You can use the DNS from anywhere you want, including where you bought your domain. In this case, here it is mail and it's connected to the BPS, right? This BPS details are going to be available right here, right? Here's the IP address for that. And we're going to create the records for each one of these. So for example, the MX record, which is over here on the DNS manager that I have here, MX record, main domain, and here it is, mail.anilufer. To add records, click on the add record here, and I can go search for MX and then add the details that Cloudstick is providing me. And for the rest of these, we're going to use the TXT record. So for example, TXT selected, 
and it's gonna ask for the name and the content. In this case, for example, the SPF record, here it is. We're gonna add it here in the name and the value for this, for the SPF. And here we go. We go ahead and add it and save it. And we're good to go. Add these right there. And you're gonna be able to identify your email. This is so they don't get sent to spam and they provide proof that you actually own this domain and you're sending emails from a legit domain, right? So once this is done, we're going to go back into email accounts and we're going to create emails. So for example, create an email address here and I'm going to say, uh, I don't know, George, all right, at anylifer.com, a password to go ahead and select whatever you want. You can limit the storage, which is always a good idea because the VPS does have a limit. It could be a terabyte, five gigabytes, etc. So set a limit there or you can set unlimited. It's unlimited, but it's limited to your BPS plan. So do consider that, right? And you can select send the welcome email. Go ahead and create the email and it's gonna be available here. Once it's ready, we're gonna be able to log in with open web mail. Now it jumped to my mail.adalufer domain and I'm able to log in using round cube web mail that's provided by CloudStick. So in this case, I already have my email account open here and I've already sent, well, received two emails that I've sent to myself for testing purposes. And here it is, test at anylofer.com. And I'm able to send out emails, receive emails. I can set this up on my phone if I like to receive the emails there. So it's super easy to set up here with CloudStick service. So you can have your websites here, you can have your email service here with this one-time payment. So I definitely think it's a really interesting service for the price that you're gonna get. It's, uh, I would get this, all right? If you don't have another lifetime deal for a BPS a manager, then this is a good idea. And some BPS managers don't have the email service included, so that's always a good idea to have here. But there you go. If you want to check out CloudStick, the link we provided in the description, and that's a wrap.